Hi guys, welcome to video 2 of our C++ tutorial. We're learning C++. We're, you know, starting out with a, an object-oriented programming language for this. And so the last time we went over input and output, arithmetic, variables, and today we are going to start out in chapter 3. We're going to do a problem. I'm going to work through it and explain why I'm doing things. And hopefully y'all can gain some stuff by this. So we're going to learn some new stuff today, and that is how to format output. And with this one, we're also including a new library. Actually, two. Um, I'll manip, allows the manipulation of the input and output. And CMath is the library that we're going to use to handle some math functions that we're going to do in this one. So our problem is an angle calculator. And we have to write a program that asks a user for an angle, entered in radians, and the program has to display the sine cosine tangent of the angle and we have to use the library functions and it needs to be displayed in a fixed point notation rounded to four decimals so we've got a lot to do and we're going to go over it and hopefully it works we'll see so first thing we need to do is we need to set up some variables um, actually we, need, we only need like three var or four variables for this one so we want to use instead of using an integer for this one we're going to use a double so we're going to do double and we're going to call it rads and we're not going to give it a we're not, this is all we're doing is initializing we're not giving a value this is going to be our input variable okay and then we're going to do double we're going to do cos rads which stands for cosine rads and the naming format that I'm using is a Pascal formatting. It is using lowercase until you get to a second name, and then you uppercase it, and it just allows for better reading. And we're going to do double sin rads, and we're going to do double tan rads. So there's that. There's our four variables, and as you can see, I've split them up right here. So this right here is going to be our input, and this right here is going to be the output variables. Okay. And so the first thing we need to do is we need to ask the user for an input. So we're going to do C out, and we're just going to see, we're just going to ask, um, enter a angle in rads. And we'll do this, we'll do it like this, biggity boom, there we go. And we got to get it in. So we're going to do C in, and we're just going to call it rads. Like that, there we go. That right there is going to give us our input. And so here's when we need to actually start using our variables and our library functions. So for this one, we're going to do cause rads. All right, and that is going to be equal to cosine. And we're just going to say rads. And that's all it is. It's a library function. And so the rads part, our variable, is going to be a function argument. So we're throwing that in, and it's going to perform its function, it's going to give us an output, which is saved as cause rads. And we're going to do the same thing for sine and tangent. So we're going to do sine rads. It's going to be equal to sine. Pretty sure that's how it's done. Hopefully I'm not wrong. And we're going to do tan rads. So it's going to be equal to tangent rads. Okay. And that right there is going to provide our library functions for the math part. And I'm actually looking in the book here to make sure I'm doing it right. And I was wrong. It's not S-I-N-E, it's just S-I-N, which is what I was thinking. Okay, so that's going to provide the functions that we need. It's going to save it to our variables. And the next thing we need to do is we need to format our output. And so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to do C out. And we're going to do set precision. And this right here sets the number of decimal places that we want. So we want it to four. And we're also going to do fixed, which means that it will not change no matter what. And so that right there, we do it like that. And it's going to set it for everything that follows it. So everything that follows that is going to be performed at that formatting. And so we're going to do C out. We'll do cause rads. We'll end it. Okay, then we go to C out. Sign rads. Do an end line there. 
and we'll do CF and we'll do tan reds in Dale. And of course we got to provide a return zero because our main function is not providing a return and we'll go over that later whenever we go over functions. So we will save this as a, what should we call it? Let's call it angle.cpp. There we go, there's our C++ file. Everything looks good. All right, now let's make sure it'll comp compile. We'll go to our terminal and we'll go G++ dash O. We'll do angle, angle.cpp. And we'll see what happens. And it looks like it compiled without any errors, which is good. So let's see if it works. So uh, we'll just do 88 rats. And there we go. As you can see, it is working just fine. We're getting our four decimals at a fixed percentage. Uh, it's four decimals past the decimal point, so it's four. And if you count that, that would be the uh, 10,000th place or something. I don't know. But anyway, but it's four decimals, decimal points past the actual decimal. And it works. It compiled. We're doing good. We've got everything formatted. And so that's going to be how to go do formatting. And there's also other formats you can do. You can also do set W. And I'll go ahead and go over that right now. So if you do set W, and this sets how far it is from the left. Because whenever you do this, it's all left justified. So if you do set W, and you do two, it is actually going to be um, two character spots from the left. So we'll go ahead and save it and then we'll recompile it. We'll see how it looks now. Okay, so this time we're gonna do 150. There you go, it'll give you negatives. As you can see though, that extra negative it didn't actually set the right width so let's go back and look at it and see why let's see what happened here we'll save it this way and see what happens and this is just part of it I mean you do have to do uh, trial and error and some debugging run it we'll do 150 As you can see it still gives the same thing the negative sign is kind of throwing us off but the set W, it does it does two characters from the left. And so I hope this helps you. Um, this has been chapter three, problem 20, and it's handling library functions and formatting of output. Thanks for watching, and look forward to more videos.